In this video, we are going to create user interface for the sign-in page, and it will have two text fields, email address and password, and two buttons, sign-in and sign-up. Each text field will have a clear text button. For example, if I type my email address, on the right side of the text field, there will appear a clear text button. When users tap on this button, text will be cleared. And a password text field is going to be secure text field entry. For example, when user taps in um, their password, password does not appear as clear text. Uh, its characters will be replaced with this um, bold dot uh, character. A sign in button will eventually uh, take user email address and password and send it to the server side for uh, authorization. And a sign up um, button will bring up um, sign up user interface so that user can create uh, a new account. But in this video, we're going to create user interface for the sign in page only, and we're not going to write any business logic uh, at this um, uh, stage. Okay, so uh, let's proceed because this is our very first video and um, I do not have uh, Xcode project created. I'm going to create one. I have um, a new uh, template on my screen open uh, for a new project. So I'll select iOS application, single view application and tap on next. Uh, product name will be name of our mobile application. I will give it a very simple name, something like my new app. Organization name is uh, my first name and last name. Organization identifier, well, this is um, usually a reverse domain name. Uh, in my case, it's uh, com.kargapolov. And uh, bundle identifier is your organization identifier, com.kargapolov plus your um, a mobile app name, which is uh, my new app. Bundle identifier is created by Xcode. You, you do not create this one. And um, it, it needs to be a unique uh, string. Each mobile application has a unique bundle identifier. Okay, so for the language, uh, I select uh, Swift devices iPhone and I'm ready to continue. Next. Create. Okay, my Xcode project is created and I will go on to main storyboard. I will hide uh, left side panel and right side panel. And uh, on my main storyboard, I see only one view controller, which was created by Xcode automatically. Um, this is initial view controller because it has this uh, arrow at the left side. And initial view controller means that when your mobile application starts, this view will be the very first one uh, the user will see. Okay, so uh, let's begin creating user interface. First thing that I like to do is I like to resize uh, my view controllers to iPhone 4 inch. And uh, to do that, I will expand right side utilities panel, switch to attributes inspector and under simulated metrics size, I will choose iPhone 4 inch. Okay. And uh, what I also need to do is I need to embed this view controller into navigation controller. So uh, I will select view controller, go into editor, embed in navigation controller. Uh, very good. And navigation controller is also very large. I will resize it to iPhone each just to um, save some space uh, on my main storyboard. I will bring things closer to each other. Uh, if um, you need to preview your um, storyboard, you can uh, double tap on the um, free space and you can uh, zoom out and preview um, your view controls um, like this and zoom in uh, by double tapping on the main storyboard again. Okay, so I have my uh, view controller uh, ready. I will select it and I will start with the title. I will click on navigation bar here and navigation item is selected and under uh, attributes inspector, navigation item title, I will type sign in. Okay. So now I'm ready to create text fields. Uh, down uh, below here in the uh, bottom right corner, I have my objects library and I will look for text field. Okay, so text field, I will click on it, drag and drop into my interface design. 
So the first field is for email address. I will select the text field and on the attributes inspector for the placeholder, I will provide value uh, email address. Placeholder looks like uh, this uh, gray text and it will disappear as soon as user starts typing email address into text field. It's just an, uh, a reminder or kind of a hint for user uh, to figure out what this text field is for. Okay, and um, now I will scroll down and we'll look for a uh, clear button here. Clear button uh, from the drop down menu I want to select is always visible. Clear button will not appear right away, it will appear when mobile application is running and the user actually types in something. In the interface design, it's not visible here. Okay, I'm ready to create my second um, text field and this one is for password. I will go uh, up here to placeholder and I will type password and I will also um, make clear field always visible and for the password text field I also need to check this uh, checkbox here secure text entry. This will make text field a password text field meaning that um, the value user types into this text field will not appear as um, a clear text but will be replaced with the uh, dots, uh, bold dots. Okay, now text fields are created. I'm ready to create buttons. So I will look uh, for the button in my objects library and I'll drag and uh, drop one here. We'll resize a little, a little bit. My first button will be sign up button. So I will select uh, the button and in my identity inspector, I mean uh, attributes inspector, I will change the title for it. That will be sign Oh, sign in, right, sign in. And I will also change the uh, background color of this button to something uh, like, um, no, let's make it blue. Blue and the tint color is white. Okay, and now I need to create one more button. Also resize it a little bit. And this will be for sign up. While button is uh, selected, I will change its uh, title to sign up. Okay, and I will change its background to um, orange and I will change the tint color to white. Very good. Now I have two buttons but they are of a different width. So I need to fix that. I will select one button, sign in and then switch to size inspector here and uh, I will look up its width. It's 106. Now I will select sign up button and under the same uh, size inspector, I will change to 106. I will change the width to 106. Now I want to align these buttons together so they look nice. Is it? Yes, now, now they are aligned. Very good. I can save my project and I think we're done here. Let's uh, run this application on iPhone 5 simulator and see how it uh, works. Building, running, okay, my mobile application is up and running and uh, let's test the email address field first. I will type my email address, sergey at erslandia.com and I see the um, clear button here. When I tap on it, the text disappears and for the password, when I type password, it is a secure text field. Very good. Sign in button and sign up button do not work yet. This is because we did not write any business logic for it. But I do see that my text fields are not aligned a little bit. So I will go um, and fix that. I will stop my application. I'll select the password text field and I will align it as well. Okay, now things look very good. And I think we're done with this video.